In this lecture, we will continue with Python's list, as it would be incredibly useful to understand it in a bit more detail. We now know what a list is, how to create one, how to access elements in a list, and slice a list. But what if you want to make changes in a list? If I want to add or remove an element from a list, what if I want to get more information about a list? In previous lecture, we understood that the difference between a function and a method. So now let's see some more useful methods that relates to lists and some functions that can be applied to a list structure. First, start with methods. Suppose we want to add a new stock Pfizer in our portfolio list. In that case, list append method will help us to add any new element at the end of the list like this. First, name of the list which in this case portfolio ticker list followed by a dot and the method that we want to use which in this case append and in parentheses stock symbol pfe in quotes let execute this command and print the list after this amendment here is our new stock symbol in the list please note that the method append is doing exactly the same thing as its word meaning adding something at the end python tries to use as much as possible everyday words in its syntax to make programming easy to understand append method adds a new element at the end of the list but what if you want to add an element at a specific position say first position or second position in a list you can use method insert like this there are some other useful list methods available in python you can find them on w3 school website now let's talk about functions that are also applicable to lists suppose you want to know how many items or elements are in your list for that purpose you can use length function len the code will look like this function len followed by parentheses and within parentheses our list name and hit run there are 13 stocks in our list you can notice a difference between how we write our method and a function code although all elements in our list are strings not numbers but you can still use minimum function min and maximum function max the maximum element in a list of a string is element that would occur last if the list were sorted alphabetically and minimum is opposite of max you can also search whether an element is in or not in the list for example let's check j and g in the list like this the answer is true as it exists in our portfolio list the opposite not in is false i would also like to mention here that you don't need to remember all functions methods and other coding syntax of python programming all you need to remember is how to find it when you need it you need to develop a habit of searching the problem on google there are excellent resources and communities available on the net to rescue you even in a more complex situation as the great albert einstein once said i don't need to know everything i just need to know where to find it when i need it